uh, welcome to our YouTube, cha YouTube channel. Let us start some problems on solids, projection of solids. As an example problem, we are discussing problem number one. A square prism 35 mm sides of base and 60 mm axis length rest on HP on one of its edges of the base, which is inclined to VP at 30 degree. Draw the projection of the prism when the axis is inclined to HP at 45 degree. So let us draw, draw the first position. Square prism of 35 mm side. So I take a rectangle width 35 mm and height 35 mm. Line thickness is 0.5 mm and line type is continuous line. So line type is thick line 0.5 mm. And let us call the names. We know prisms will have two base so let it be a b c c1 d d1 be the a b c d be the top uh, face and a1 b1 c1 be the bottom base go for a projection line 0.13 projectile xy line and we know the front view of the front view of the prism is a rectangle the width is this much and height is given in the question 60 mm the width of the rectangle is here and height is 60 mm to find the center we can take this proportion the midpoint of this line and midpoint of this line gives us the center so take the projection line till xy line and change the line type to axis line and show the axis so in front view you can see b dash but a dash is going to be invisible and similarly o1 dash sorry o dash is going to be invisible and here comes c dash in the bracket d dash in the base we can see b1 dash but a1 dash is going to be invisible similarly o1 dash is going to be invisible here c1 dash is visible and d1 dash is invisible do the dimensioning the side length and axis length we can show okay so the next position is uh, axis is inclined 45 degree to HP. So let us take move command, select this first position, go for move, select entire thing, switch on move, take reference of this end point and paste it on the second position and rotate the same. Such a way that the basis is inclined, the axis is inclined 45 degree to HP. So, base is 90 minus 45 degree is the base rotation. Let us take this diagram and leave it left side to adjust the space. using move command switch off copy okay let us take, take projection lines for base b1 b1 is here and line type should be continuous line so line you choose continuous line 
and thin line b1 and this is c1 b b and c here comes this is a projection of the edges now let us call the names so this is a b c and d the top square similarly we have a1 b1 c1 edge is, is, is on which it's resting so c1 is going to be invisible and d1 is invisible take thick line and join the visible edge if you look from top you can see point a b c d and a this square we can see and always the outermost edges are visible so join the outermost edges by visible visible line whereas the c1 d1 is a resting edge so c1 d1 should be invisible we have to use the dashed line let us take projection line for axis so this is o1 so this is o01 and this is o is visible and o1 is going to be invisible so here O1 is going to be invisible and O is visible. Join these two points using chain line O2 O1 dash. So this completes the second position. And do the measure the angle of the axis with respect to XY line to so 45 degree. The final position is the base which is inclined 30 degree to VP. So take a continuous line, thin line, and take an angle between these two 30 degree. Move this second position, switch on copy. move switch on copy and place in such a way that the d1 will coincide with the 30 degree line and rotate the same in such a way that d1 and c1 should coincide with 30 degree line which is the edge on edge of the base which is inclined to vp is at 30 degree now take projection line 0.13 mm line take projection of a so projection of a is here similarly b b also runs on same line projection of c projection of d In same fashion, A1, B1, C1, and D1. All the names so a projection is here a, this is a b c and d whereas this will indicate a1 b1 
in fact b1 dash so this is supposed to be dash in front you we denote the alphabets by dash so this is a dash this is b dash c dash d dash a1 dash b1 dash c1 dash is here and d1 dash now to identify visible lines since the base is nearer to observer we can join the base edge by visible line so base edges are a1 b1 c1 d1 back to a1 and always the outermost edges are visible so a a1 a dash b dash c dash and c1 dash is going to be visible and since b b1, b1 are also visible in, which is nearer to observer so b b1 is going to be visible hence the invisible lines are the lines which come inside the solid a dash d dash c dash and d d1, d1 dash let us take projection of axis also the so projection line is a continuous line this is o1 and o let us take some zoom join to the axis similar way o1 so projection of o1 will come at this point so this o1 is going to be sorry o dash is going to be invisible and o1 dash is going to be visible and this corner d dash what we have that corner is going to be invisible so we need to mention the d dash is in bracket draw axis line joining axis line thickness is 0.13 o2 o1 dash so this completes problem number example problem number one in similar way we have example number problem number four in which a square sum of 35 mm sides of base and 60 mm axis length rest on hp on one of its edges of the base draw the projection of the prism when the axis is inclined to hp 45 degree and vp 30 degree so since here in the previous problem also we have the same condition is rest on of edges and axis inclined 45 degree to hp just for to make i will make use of the same diagram to explain now the third condition it changes axis is inclined 45 degree to hp in previous problem the resting edge was inclined at an angle 30 degree to H vp so here the axis is inclined 30 degree to vp so axis is inclined to both hp and vp hence it's a locus problem because we need to find out ap apparent angle axis is a line which is inclined to both hp and vp means we have to find the apparent angle of the axis so let us draw the true angle first using continuous line 0.13 m thickness the angle between these two must be 45 30 degree now construct a point somewhere on the 30 degree line 
and take that point thickness for 2 mm at least now take arc by center point method keeping this as center take original length of the axis 60 mm as a radius and cut an arc draw a line from the intersection of that arc and 30 degree line then measure the distance between the apparent length of the axis so 42.43 keeping same center take the radius 42.43 and cut an arc now you move the second position top view with respect to O, I will paste O on this end point and rotate the same in such a way that O and O1 will come on the apparent line. You can measure the apparent angle also. The apparent angle of this axis with respect to VP is 45 degrees. Now to take projection, let us start A and A dash. Projection line thickness should be 0.13 and line is continuous line. So this is A dash. A. And a dash similarly B projection of B comes here projection of C projection of B projection of a1 to a1 dash so a1 dash is here and b1 dash a1 dash and b1 dash runs on same line c1 dash is on xy line and d1 dash is also on xy line now let us label it so this is a b c and d similarly a1 dash sorry b1 dash c1 dash and d1 dash so here comes a dash b dash c dash and d dash now to identify the visible edges or we have taken base is nearer to observer so base will be visible join a1 dash b1 dash c1 dash and d1 dash and always the outermost boundary will be visible join the outermost boundary by a thick line and b b1 is nearer to the observer and remaining is going to be invisible so remaining are c dash b dash a dash and d dash d1 dash so now out of this the d dash corner is going to be invisible so that should be mentioned in bracket now let us take projection line of axis for axis so projection of axis o dash and o1 so join this 
with a chain line 0.13 thickness so this is o dash and this is o and dash so o dash is going to be invisible put in bracket and o and dash is going to be visible So this completes the problem, example problem number one and four. Thank you.